and lovelies you've seen from the title of this video this may not be your average gift guide okay i may have titled this christmas but i actually don't like to use the term christmas because hey you know what other religions exist and i like to call this season the festive season or the holidays because inclusivity also i'm not christian in the slightest i'm not religious in the slightest but i love the warm fuzzies of this time of year like that's the thing that just brings me so much joy everything's so much prettier brighter sparkly happy this whole season comes along with all of those feelings but then also the stress of gift giving so um i'm here to help this is not a video that's going through all of the best brands and the best products of 2021 or whatever or the best gifts to buy for everyone this is more of like an ideas and like an unpacking of mindsets that i think is quite important for us to do so that's kind of what we're talking about today we are creating this look which i am so here for everything's cruelty free vegan not over parent companies that test our animals and is listed down below the thing is that i didn't want this to be like a consumerist bs video like i'm really not here for that i really just want this to be a discussion an ideas kind of forum so I will be very active in the comments down below as well ideas can actually be the hardest thing at this time of year so I'm really trying to address that with this but first um, subscribe if you haven't already I keep on forgetting to tell you to subscribe and like my subscribers are now stagnating so please do subscribe it would really help me out heaps you actually chose the color that's on my nails today if you do follow me on Instagram like I interact a lot through my stories and also through my community tab on YouTube so follow on that and subscribe on this otherwise you're just I want this to be like a constant conversation, a nice little community that we're building here, okay? Now let's just get right into the fun, shall we? I'm gonna put my lips on first because I can't be opinionated without having something on my lips. Now I feel like I can actually say my very hot take of opinions. I have a really, really good little nugget of news for you. Guess what? You can tell people what you want. <sighs> I know it's kind of revolutionary and groundbreaking, but you really can. You have the power. Through text, through call, for talking to someone in person, you can say what it is that you want. Just the same as other people can tell you exactly what they want as well. I would like to encourage this very strongly. Personally, I think a big part of emotional maturity actually comes from recognizing the fact that people are not mind readers and they may not buy you the exact thing that you want. And that is 110% a-okay, sweetie. You know, like, recognizing that everyone has got different love languages and also <laughs> just the other side issue of the fact that you are spending your hard-earned money on a limited amount of finite resources and you want the person to be able to actually use and enjoy <laughs> not only the finite resources that we're just assigned to give to someone, but also your hard-earned money that you're spending and you're expecting to get a really positive reaction. I think it's just a very kind of, like, mature thing to just sort of realize oh yeah actually maybe we should communicate i'd so much rather us have these productive conversations so that things can be used in a wise way so they don't end up in the trash that is definitely something that we do not want <laughs> tell people what you want please and ask people what they want as well i want this to become a much more normalized thing than what it is i think one of the key reasons that there's so much anxiety around this time of year is the fact that people one <laughs> don't have the money for it two <laughs> it's stressful buying people stuff sometimes if you want for nothing cool also you're lying now whilst i do adore john green's notion of enough so I think we are still living in a time where gift giving is one of the key ways that we show each other that we care and think about one another. So until we actually get past this stage of life, um, which has been, you know, obviously like ramped up because of capitalism, um, I don't really see us like edging away from this. So let's try and be a lot more thoughtful, productive and communicative throughout the entire process. So as far as I'm concerned, let's make the most of it, shall we? Second hand. Now... If you have been admiring my beautiful stripy jumper anytime I've worn it, this is a second hand number. I adore it. And yeah, actually most of my clothes are second hand. A lot of our furniture is also second hand. One, financial. Two, sustainable. I will also link Alina Norm's video for you if you are a book giver because that's probably going to be very, very helpful for you. I personally don't really read all that much, so I'm not really like the best person to go telling you about books to buy for people. But that video I personally found very useful for a couple of people in my life that I know like to read. Now look, reading for me, it does not bring me joy. But I know that for a lot of people, like hallucinating to pages is like really therapeutic and relaxing and I'm not going to take that away from you. This is my therapy and relaxing. 
as soon as I can actually safely go and do it, I'm going to be going to charity shops and giving my books to them. So yeah, all of this obviously leads me on to charity shops. Wow, who'd have thought we could get here? So it's like you see a cute vase or a jumper or like some cute like dining set or cups or like whatever. Um, and then you're like, oh, that could actually work so well for blah blah. Maybe it needs a little TLC or customization or even like one of those vases could get filled with a candle from one of the local people probably around you that has gotten really into making candles recently. So you know you can take it there and then you've got a wonderful gift to give to someone. Now the thing is that you can just take a picture of the thing that you're thinking of like whilst you're browsing around, send it to the person and then just say would you like this and they can get back to you. One. This is great because people love to know that they're being thought of, like that's always a nice thing. Not that they'll reply instantly because you know everyone only has like so many spoons that they can handle in a day, maybe they don't get back to you. Maybe the people that work at the shop are nice enough to hold it for you if you really really think that they could possibly like it. And two, the, one, the main reason I love this is the fact it's helping to create a circular economy which is definitely something that we're very much after. Number two, around the house. So these past few years have been like really tough for people, like possibly even including you as well watching this. I love practical gifts, like I think that they're simply charming, wonderful and they make you think of the person the whole year round rather than just like some piece of trash that you have to awkwardly try and get rid of. Like for example, does someone need new drinking glasses or mugs or plates or some new cutlery? Maybe a reusable water bottle or keep cup or even oven mitts, or maybe a wheat bag, or like something that is actually practical and useful. Or if you're feeling really really flush, like how would they feel about a cast iron pan? I don't know anyone that would actually say no to one of those, or even a blender. You know like one of those like little coffee things you put on the stove as well, I know people have really gone into those over the past few years. If they haven't got like a giant like self-made barista thing over the panoramic. I don't know, I don't drink coffee so I don't know. The joys of having a heart condition took away that joy from me. Maybe they need some new cushions or like a knife sharpener, a new blanket, like or duvet or like something else that's like really practical and useful around the house. Like for example, especially if they're struggling, it's like one of the things that you do is like you replace it with like something cheap that will just fall apart pretty quickly. So this could actually be something that is like incredibly useful for people and reused heaps. Like I know that for me last year I asked for some stainless steel pegs. Um, so now I get to think about my in-laws in a really really positive way every time that I do our washing, which is every single week, and they're actually fantastic. It's been a great gift that I use all the time. So yeah, even for you yourself, have a little look around, see if there's something that you would want slash need slash you're like, hmm, I could like possibly ask for a nicer version of that so then it won't break as quickly. This is fantastic. As you can see, what I'm really trying to harp on about is um, getting something that you will use. Think about the toys from Toy Story. How sad were they when they weren't being played with? That's just really sad. When they're not used, they turn into lots of cookbooks. Now, I'm suggesting this particularly because I know a lot more people are getting more interested in veganism, so I'm like, okay, cool. Here's four that you can try out. May I suggest Chelsea Winter's Super Good book. Or Gaz Oakley, you know, avant-garde vegan, like that this person who has got like this booming YouTube channel, more restaurant quality food, you know like that fancy stuff that I definitely don't have time to make, that could be a really good option. There's also Candace Owen with her edgy veg cookbook. Now her recipes, um, especially if you want to veganize stuff, wow, oh my goodness, her recipes are amazing. She also has a YouTube channel on Instagram that I follow her on. And also there's Sweet Potato Soul with Janae Claiborne. Janae Claiborne, I hope that I'm pronouncing that surname correctly. Um, like, I follow her on Instagram. Her food always looks absolutely delectable. If you know any others that you really enjoy, please do add them in the comments down below. I want this to be a sharing resource of usefulness, you know? Like, personally for me, I don't really use cookbooks, so I'm just going by what the vegan community, like, that I've seen online really, really love. It's basically enough for me to find something online and then use that recipe from my phone. I find cookbooks too cumbersome. I'm just, I'm just not a book person. I know that people have loved these so that's why I'm suggesting them. Why not give the gift of time or an experience? I'm a huge advocate for this so my husband and I what we normally do for like birthdays or Christmas when we're not in a panoramic and we're able to do so is we actually go for a massage because my shoulders are always very high up. I have to keep on reminding myself to bring them back down. <laughs> oh, oh anxiety you suck. 
So this has kind of become a tradition of ours to actually go do that because then it means that you can have some time together, you can go out for lunch and have a nice massage and like it's a really relaxing time. Me and my bestie do it as well, like lock me up in a spa any day, I would be so happy. I did also mention before the fact that many people have been financially struggling, to put it lightly. So again, going back to practicality, why not buy them a voucher for the salon that they normally go to where they get their hair cut? hugely helpful or if they've been really struggling mentally or with like health issues ask them if a one-off deep clean of the house could be useful not saying that you have to do this yourself like if you're able to do that my goodness um wow <laughs> um but like getting someone that's like third party and impartial can actually be like really helpful as well because then you don't get all tied up with like them being like oh no they're judging me and um, whereas if you have a third party do it it's just a lot better i think through work i've organized that for people when they've come out of surgery and it's been hugely helpful for example it's just very practical i much prefer it to flowers personally i think it's way more useful for people or even like Restaurant vouchers for a local restaurant, preferably not a chain if you can avoid it, that's always a nice thing because then it means that they have to get out of the house and actually one, support the local economy, two, have a bit of a mental break from it, like if you, if people are able to obviously do so, we're still not. Or another thing you can do if they've been struggling, whether it's with health issues, mental health issues, whatever, is actually buy them some frozen meals. That would be really helpful. I'm not on about like just the ones you pick up from the supermarket, um, though some of them can actually be good, like be on wheels, um, but like getting them some stuff that they can actually have on hand <laughs> in the freezer um, can be super useful. Like I know that for me, when I cannot... <laughs> When I cannot move, <laughs> having frozen prepped meals is hugely helpful. It means that you don't have to feel like you have to get takeaways, which are often like unhealthy. Also, like the huge amount of money that that costs, like it's just one of those like mental pressures taken off. So I think that that's always a really nice thing to do as well. That may not seem all that gifty, but like I'm really trying to just encompass everyone here and just say like it doesn't have to be a stereotypical gift. Um, the thing is that you're gifting someone something that is hopefully useful. That's kind of what I'm trying to hammer home here. If you really like a traditional gifty gift kind of thing, um, let's go into the little lux category, shall we? How's your wallet or their wallet doing? Like the literal wallet, not the emptiness inside of it <laughs> that is as hollow as all of our souls <laughs> after this year. If it's really, really worn down and stuff, like possibly getting them a replacement for that could actually be really, again, useful. Something that will make them think of you as well. Like, for example, I got my husband a Matinet one, which he's been using for four years now. Still looks new. Amazing quality. And he'll hopefully use that for another 20 years. That would be fantastic because it's very practical. He thought about it. I thought about it. Like, had a good think about it before we bought anything. Or even a handbag if you're feeling super luxe. Like, I know that there's the one that Rianne has helped design and work on as well. Like, she's done collaborations with them. There's a wide number of, like, vegan handbags that are like really beautiful quality like there's mushroom leather there's all of those alternatives that I talked about in this video up here so that can also be a wonderful gift to get for someone or if you really like more traditional looks like I know I've had comments on my jewelry before um so these rings that I'm wearing on this hand second hand for my husband after we'd only been together for three months <laughs> at that point the jewelry that I wear all the time because I only really have two sets and this is from Purpose Jewelry they don't have this range in anymore, but there's other ones. Like, I also wear my hoop earrings with little stars on them. Those are from Luna and Rose. Um, like, there's a lot of ethical jewellery out there. Just try and be a little bit mindful that a lot of people try to pass things off as being ethical. Like, I know that both of these actually are. <laughs> So that's why I'm suggesting them. Perfume. Okay, this is technically a sample set because like, like I said, haven't been able to leave the house and go to like shops and stuff. Technically we can, but no one's following the rules, so I don't want to. Perfume. Um, a nice perfume is always a good gift and I know that it's definitely something that I look forward to and something that I actually requested was this one from Floral Street. Now Floral Street is a vegan company. It's very hard to get vegan <laughs> perfumes in New Zealand. But yeah, I wanted to see how these actually wear on my skin. Obviously this is something you need to talk about with the person as well. And so this has given me an opportunity to actually go through them all, see how it works with my own skin chemistry because everyone's body is different. So that means that at Christmas time I'll be buying myself a full size one of these because 
my best friend gave me a voucher for the place where I could buy this from, so that's fantastic. And also, um, I am a big fan of body moisturizer and like little me time things, things that help your skin or even more luxury um, skincare as well. This is a good time, like if they've been looking at something or you think, oh, this could actually work for them really well. Like you do tend to get some really good gift sets at this time of year if they've been wanting to try something out and then they can try it out for like a good month and see how it works with their skin afterwards. You know, like those sorts of things, super helpful. Really, really like them. That leads me on to my last point, which is makeup, if they're into it. I've told you so many times about the fact that you need to throw your mascara away every three months, please. I never want any of you <laughs> to get an eye infection, please. Now, you may have someone in your life in the same way that I do, um, a people that just don't like to replace their mascara every th three months so I actually like to buy that as part of like a little gift to give to them at Christmas time and I'll be doing the same thing this year Claire if you're watching this which you probably are. Like I've got reviews for so many of them on this channel my two current favorites are one from DB Cosmetics it's a center stage one and the other one is from Thrive Cosmetics. I don't know if you can get DB Cosmetics like everywhere I think you can only get it around New Zealand or Australia um but I know you can get Thrive Cosmetics basically everywhere wonderful company too love that company so much like some makeup brushes are actually also a really really useful and good addition because they last for literally years and they also tend to be on special at this time of year so you can get like a good bundle for them obviously ask them what they need first because everyone <laughs> If you have a makeup friend in your life, they're probably very specific about the things that they actually need, like. <laughs> Honestly, just be direct and ask them. Like, if you see something and you're like, I think that they'd really suit this eyeshadow palette or something, it's like, send it to them. See if they'd like it. And maybe they are like, nah, actually, like, that wouldn't work, or, oh, no, you can't buy that for me, which leads me on to my next point, okay? wrapping this whole thing up with a little bow <laughs> like my biggest takeaway here is don't buy a gift for someone which is a gift that you think that they should have to fit into um because you would also want it <laughs> like for example you know like the whole eco tools life that may not actually be practical for them and they may be like mm, too uncertain about using like a safety razor or whatever in which case it's like it's better to talk to them first before being like oh, i've just got you all this stuff so now you then like not polluting the planet anymore it's like have a chat see if they'd like it first. It's always, communication is key. <laughs> <laughs> I really want everyone to be thinking critically before purchasing something like what I talk about all the time with even my makeup purchases. It's like I've thought about this stuff for a long, long time. <laughs> before I actually buy something. I really hope that this has gotten you into thinking about what you want this year because realistically after I've rattled off all of these things I'm sure that something's popped into your little brain like oh actually yeah I've got a bunch of broken stuff that I could really use replacing instead of just like having to ask for like obligatory gifty gifts like something that you'd use and treasure and appreciate and oh my goodness there's always police here really trying to steal centre stage here aren't you Popo? Oh my gosh. I personally believe it's not right for people to believe that you should quote unquote know them so well to buy them a gift which is exactly what they want you know. I really want to get away from that trash mindset honestly. I want to get away from trash in general because a lot of trash is actually caused by Christmas time. Please don't buy regular wrapping paper once again um I think I've talked about this enough enough people have hopefully talked about this brown paper or buy those bags don't write on the tag so then it can be reused like passed around all the friend circles family circles and stuff those are another option if you want to have something pretty or there's those fabric scarves or tea towels or something like there's always something that you can do other than the plastic coated like wrapping paper get away from it we don't need it also i want to get away from the whole notion of like people saying like oh what do you want say so, oh you don't have to get me anything meanwhile they actually really are expecting something from you and they'll just lash out at you and judge you and like hold this like grudge against you for ages i say this as a scorpio that would hold a grudge normally i think that this is just petty and ridiculous and another trash mindset we really need to let go of same as having like this tit for tat mindset too like of like equal monetary value people are at different financial situations in life different financial stages in life it's completely unhealthy to say like this person can afford a hundred dollars this person can afford twenty dollars so this person is owed another eighty dollars from this person it's like everyone's got different financial situations and i think it's really really important that we recognize that and don't go like expecting stuff that you know is unrealistic for this other person to do like, it's just trash. So trash, 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 trash everywhere. I hate it. 
over it. It's the same as sharing a gift idea you had with someone and they're like, oh no, that's too much. The thing is that you wouldn't be offering to buy something for someone unless you could actually afford it, right? Right? Please never get into debt <laughs> for presents, um, by the way. Uh, the only people that benefit from you going into debt for presents is loan sharks and banks. Like, we all like to get things and give things. It's, it's just something that is like a very cultural thing across, like, most cultures and I think it's important to recognize that but let's just be a bit more intentional have some more open communication about it and get it away from like this really stuffy idea of like oh no it's rude to ask it's like actually this is being purposeful and trying to use up finite resources in better ways and cause less stress for the person who's trying to buy you a gift I think that that's great intentional direct but most of all understanding <laughs> Now I also want to raise there's going to be a bunch of people who are not able to give gifts this year and that is okay. Like every single Christmas movie that has ever existed that is worth its like weight in gold or salt or just anything really. Um, it's the time that you spend together that's the most valuable, right? So if you're able to see people, then do so. Um, because, you know, that's the thing that is like, oh, it's the one thing. It's the one thing that money can't buy. It's all of those movies that I've had to watch so many of <laughs> for these videos that are coming out closer towards the end of the year. Anyway, I hope that this has helped you with ideas. I hope it's given you some ideas of like how to have these tricky, possibly conversations with people and just help change our mindsets around this. Of course, if you have any other ideas or thoughts, please leave them in the comments below because I want this to be like a really helpful community to each other. Like, I don't really think there's any need to judge what people can or cannot do at this time of year because I think it's just important to recognize that everyone's got their own struggles in life. <laughs> and this can be a very hard time of year. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to help with some different tools that you can have in place, okay? I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you again on Tuesday for another video or on Sunday for a review because I've had things building up for a little while. <laughs> Take care, lovelies. Bye!